Ash here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 79. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find the application execution or idle time. This slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. The problem scenario is we want to find out for how long an application is in executing state or idle state. So already in DB2 Tips and Tricks part 53 tutorial, I have explained how to get the application idle time. Uh, there I had used two techniques. One is the application snapshot. Another one is the mongit connection. Uh, that solution is good, but uh, this solution in this tutorial, it is going to be more refined here. So, and it also has additional information like say uh, part 53 was talking only about ad application idle time. So here I'm going to talk about both application idle time and executing time. So if it is executing something for how long it is executing, if it is idle for some, some time, like how long it is idle like that. So the solution is to use another routine called as mon get agent. So every connection will have a coordinator agent. So if you are using a uh, like a regular uh, environment, like a non uh, connection concentrator enabled, like the connection concentrator is not enabled like a normal environment or a default environment. So you can use the mon get agent routine wherein uh, every single connection will have a coordinator agent. So that agent only will work. Uh, will do all your activities so using that particular agent uh, that the column name is event state so whether that particular agent is idle or executing this particular column event state will tell so if it is idle so how long it is idle if it is executing for how long it is executing that you can simply calculate using the timestamp diff function and the formula is current timestamp minus agent state last update time so that is the column so which will record like whenever it is getting into an executing state the timestamp will get updated and whenever it is moving out of executing state to idle again the timestamp will be updated so you can just use the formula current timestamp minus agent state last update time to find out how long that particular application or agent is in a particular state okay so let us uh, usual uh, as usual get into uh, examples so that it will be uh, easier for our understanding so here actually I have uh, started the instance, activated the database and I have two <coughs> two applications that have been uh, connected. Uh, so first let me show you uh, the routine. So mon get agent is the routine. Okay. So in first terminal what I am going to do is I am going to hit here. So this is the mon get agent routine and it is taking <coughs> the first one is some service class the second one is some other super uh, service class subclass like that it, it takes to uh, class information some workload specific information you can pass null actually and the third one is the agent id that we are specifically looking for so you can pass null e even here so all these three arguments can be null so it is going to list everything so these are all the agents or applications that are connected to the database and you can see it is stmm means it is some kind of a system application right uh, self tuning memory uh, this is task daemon uh, some workload related daemon like that so and you can see there is a one here right so all the uh, what do you call like all the system applications will be given here one okay so and surprisingly I, I find only one application even though I have two applications so let us just like do something like db2 list tables like that okay so once I initiate some transaction right and it, it will show you now actually so you should see now yeah 16 and 18 so the, the application handles 16 and 18 are the uh, important uh, things that we should look for okay and uh, uh, so what I'll do is so I'll update the so in one window or in one terminal so I'm going to execute a huge query okay and I'll, I'll before executing that okay I'll also do this one okay so I'm just querying only for uh, so instead of showing everything I'm just querying the specific uh, two things which are like 16 and 18 the client connections right we are in we are not uh, looking about system applications so we are only looking about client connections and you can see that 18 is already in idle state for about 43 seconds right so 60 seconds like that okay so once i start this particular query here so you can see that it is getting into executing state okay 
see here it's 18 is getting into executing state and the executing state is 5 seconds like that 11 seconds so the, the update is still going on 14 seconds uh, you can pretty much see that yeah see so if it, if that particular application handle is 18 and it is in executing state and it is in executing state for the past 21 seconds and it, it it came back to idle and two seconds which means the executing state is complete so you can see that yeah the ex executing state is complete right and similarly even if a rollback happens so you will see that see yeah, let me just roll back right so see it is again it is executing now it is executing the rollback actually it's executing the rollback for 8 seconds 10 seconds 11 seconds 12 seconds you can see still the rollback is going on 16 seconds 18 it, it's a huge table yeah so now it got idle right so the 18 uh, application handle is now idle now the idle counter will start right so so that is the importance of agent state last update time whenever the state is changing between this executing and idle it is going to be helpful for you to identify uh, in in that particular state how long that particular application has spent like that so it's it's hope this information was useful to you Please subscribe to my channel DB2LUW Academy. See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye bye.